President Trump never asked me, and I need to tell him that. He never asked. I, you know, I heard it all on television that he's going to ask Hersher. He's saying Hersher to run. President Trump never came out as Hersher. Will you run for that Senate really? seat? Did Hersher run for this? He never asked. So I'm mad at him because he never asked, but he's taking credit that he asked. Before all this started coming about, my wife and I went with Pastor Tony Evans at Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship, uh -huh. and we went into prayer. We went into prayer, and I prayed about it. And to be honest with you, I was praying that God would bring somebody else. I'm like, I, I, I'm happy. My life is doing well. I got a company, man. I'm rolling. But I love the Lord Jesus. Yeah. And because Jesus politely asked him to run, well, Herschel Walker decided to answer the call. Yeah. So we'll talk about that in a second. But for those of you unaware, that is a U.S. Senate candidate who will be facing off against Democrat incumbent Raphael Warnock this November. And as you saw, he's very mad that Donald Trump took credit for encouraging him to run. But I've got to say, I don't know what he's talking about because all of the things that I can find Trump saying, quotes, uh, with regard to Herschel Walker, they don't indicate that he's taking credit for Herschel Walker deciding to run. So before Walker announced his run, this is what Trump said about him. Quote, he told me he's going to, and I think he will. I had dinner with him a week ago. He's a great guy. He's a patriot, and he's a very loyal person. He's a very strong person. They love him in Georgia, I'll tell you, Trump said. Now, Trump runs his mouth constantly, so it's possible that during some interview, Trump quickly slipped it in and took credit for convincing Herschel Walker to run, but I can't find evidence of this. Perhaps Trump said that Herschel Walker won because of his endorsement, but that's not what Herschel Walker is saying there. Herschel Walker is very clearly saying Trump is taking credit for saying that he got me to run when that's not actually the case. So who convinced Herschel Walker to run? Well, as you saw, he implied that it was Jesus, and I love the way that Ross Story wrote this out. In an interview with Revolt TV host Michael Santiago Render, better known as Killer Mike, Walker revealed that it was God, not Trump, who inspired him to run for the U.S. Senate. Yeah, so that's basically Herschel Walker saying, God convinced me to run, not Donald Trump. So don't take credit for what God did, Donald Trump. Herschel, is God in the room with you right now? Can you see God? Is he standing over there? It's just, it's so bizarre to hear adults talk like this, right? Like I'm envisioning him conjuring up this image of God and he thinks that we're going to believe his own delusions. Herschel. Yeah, who's there? This is God, Herschel. On planet Earth, in the United States, in the Milky Way galaxy, just making sure that I have the right person here that I created. I want you to run for the U.S. Senate in Georgia. But God, I, I don't want to run. This is this is not what I want to do. I'm a successful football player. This is dumb, God. No, Herschel, you must run because you are a true follower, Herschel. But God, there's already a reverend who's in that particular seat. You want me to unseat the reverend? I mean, how can... I be a truer follower than him. Just shut the fuck up, Herschel, and do it. <laughs> this, is what, this, is what, this is what I'm envisioning. I mean, when you say that God convinced you to run, you convinced you to run. You didn't want to, but you felt like you needed to because you could do better than Raphael Warnock, which you can't. Uh, but it's just, this is weird and and it's so bizarre to me that he's genuinely upset that god would try to take credit for something or that excuse me that trump would try to take credit for something that god did don't ever do that okay trump you can criticize everyone you can attack every single person you can sexually harass and assault women multiple women but don't you dare step on god's toes evangelicals in america genuinely like they're so difficult to understand because of how insane most of them are. But I've got to say, as insane as Herschel Walker is, something tells me that the more he speaks, the less popular he's going to become with the GOP's base because later on in that same interview, um, he says something that may be disqualifying among the GOP's base. And it's disqualifying potentially because of how reasonable it is. Yes, you heard me right. Herschel Walker said something reasonable. Take a look. My parents raised me that if something is going wrong, got nothing to do with who I am, what I've done in life, but what I can do to help someone else. Mm -hmm. 
right now there is a problem. There's a problem with the racism. People are calling each other names. Guys, we come so far. Martin Luther King done an incredible job. You know, and right now we're taking things back. And I'm like, guys, we got to come together. And I said, and I told President Trump and Leader McConnell, I said, uh, wait a minute. You endorse me and you endorse me, but I do this. Yeah. I don't know. So you're disavowing Trump publicly and you're speaking out against Trump saying I have to do this my way and not Trump's way. I don't know if the base is going to go for that. And the most problematic thing that he said that is going to trigger the chuds is there's a problem with racism. Right now, we're taking things backwards. And he's absolutely correct about that. But the problem is that the GOP thinks that the problem with racism is hurting them. They think that white people are being discriminated against. And that's not hyperbole. A Yahoo News YouGov poll released last week found that 64% of Republicans either strongly or somewhat agree that white people experience hate or discrimination in this country. So the extent to which you're able to discuss racism as a Republican candidate, um, it, it goes in so far as you're talking about discrimination against white people. But if you're actually going to have a serious conversation about anti-black racism in this country, then the base is going to shut down because they don't want to hear that. I mean, we just learned that most of them agree with the great replacement theory. So, you know, if Herschel Walker is able to win somehow by not pandering to Republicans, um, it'll be encouraging to see, but also disappointing because he's very clearly not qualified compared to Raphael Warnock, who is very qualified, who actually cares and wants to do things to help people. But if Herschel Walker is going to try to run to reform the GOP, I mean, I just, I don't think that that is possible at all. You got the endorsement of someone who catalyzed a global fascist movement because of how racist he was. So I just, I don't know how you're going to do that. But honestly, if this is your goal, Herschel, more power to you. But I hope that you don't win because Raphael Warnock is a better senator, objectively speaking, in terms of intelligence and qualifications than you. Um, but there's another thing that he did that's kind of a non-starter for Republicans, at least seemingly. So he endorsed pseudo-gun reform. Now, I call it pseudo-gun reform because it's not actually gun reform, and it's so bad in terms of policy design that I wouldn't even support this, and I support gun reform, pretty vehemently so. But what Herschel Walker is proposing is just absurd. And I think there would be bipartisan distaste for this particular policy. So as Ross Story reports, Herschel Walker calls for creation of federal agency to monitor American social media posts to prevent gun violence. Oh, and I'm sure that that won't be abused at all. I'm sure that the Republicans who you are counting on to vote for you, who already think that social media is discriminating against them, are going to support this. I don't support this. That's too broad. Uh, you can create a federal registry for gun owners. I think that would make sense. But just basically surveilling everyone in the country, that doesn't make sense. That's that's too broad of an approach. That's an abusive approach. You need to narrow the scope because we need to legislate in reality, not based on some random thought that you had at 3 a.m. when you were shitting. I, I just, look... I don't know what to say about Herschel Walker. He's someone who is one of the least qualified candidates. And really, this is something that's true for all celebrities who run for Congress. Donald Trump, Ronald Reagan, the dumbest celebrities get embraced by Republican voters because even if they pretend to not care about Hollywood and celebrities, the second one of them says that they're conservative, they embrace them because they're thirsty for that culture clout. But, you know, Herschel Walker is, is not qualified. So, um... Yeah, we'll leave that there. Herschel Walker is mad at Donald Trump for stepping on God's toes and claiming that he convinced Herschel to run when it indeed was the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, man, whatever. Were you acting like a beta?